Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial about OverDrive eBooks and eAudiobooks. Let's take a look at how it works. From the library's homepage, click on the Articles and Databases link in the left sidebar, which is where you'll find all of the library's eBook collections and databases. Click on the eBooks button at the top of the page. In the eBooks section, click on OverDrive to open the collection. Right now, the OverDrive collection is primarily supplemental readings and textbooks for classes. There are a couple of ways that you can search OverDrive. You can type in a search by clicking on the search icon. Once you start typing, you'll probably see your title come up. To see another search option, let's return to the home page by clicking on the COS logo. You can search by browsing different categories. For example, you can see all the English class readings by clicking on the See All link for that category. The Just Added category will show you all of the newest titles that have been added. Again, just use that See All link. To see more information about a book, you can either click on the Tile image or you can click on the title. On the Book Details screen, you can listen to a sample or if this was an ebook, you'd be able to read a sample. If you want to use the book, click on the Borrow button to check the item out. You may be prompted to type in your COS email address and password to log in. Once you borrow the book, it is checked out to you. Keep in mind that none of your classmates can use the book while you have it checked out. During the checkout process, you can choose how many days you would like to check it out for, 7, 14, or 21 days. Make your choice and then click the Borrow button. Once the book is checked out, you can listen to or read it in your browser or by downloading it. OverDrive has an app called Libby that works for both eBooks and eAudiobooks, and we'll cover how to get the app in just a minute. If you go to Loans, you can see the items you have checked out. This video shows an example of both an audiobook and eBook checked out. When you're done with the title, click on the Return button to free it up for someone else to use. With OverDrive eBooks, you also usually have the option of reading it on a Kindle. If you have a Kindle, click on the Read Now with Kindle button. This will take you over to Amazon and you'll be able to download it onto your Kindle. It will be similar to the process you use when you purchase a Kindle book, only this time it will be free. You can also read eBooks in your browser or download them into OverDrive's app, which is called Libby. Again, don't forget to return a book when you're done. Just click on the Return button, then Return Title. This will allow someone else to use the book. Since there are a limit to the number of people who can use a single title at once, OverDrive has a waiting list feature. This is called placing a hold on the book. Let's look at an example. Because this book is already checked out to someone, it says place a hold instead of borrow. To get on the waiting list so that you are notified when it has been returned and made available, click on the title and then the place a hold button. Log in with your email address if needed and click on the place hold button. You will receive an email when it is your turn to use the book. Your holds position lets you know where you are on the waiting list. Getting on the waiting list for a book has another advantage. It lets the library know that people are waiting, so we can consider purchasing more copies so that you can get your turn with the book quicker. You will probably want to use the Libby app if you are using a mobile device. OverDrive makes it easy to get their app right from the OverDrive homepage by using the links to the App Store or Google Play. This video is recorded using an iPad so we'll go to the App Store. You should be taken directly to the Libby app and be able to download it. Please feel free to contact the library if you have any questions at all about using OverDrive. You can reach the library by email at library at or by text or phone at 530-938-5331. Our website is www edu slash library, which is where you'll find all of our contact info and our open hour information. Thanks for watching and have a great semester.